So last night, foxes kept on coming back to my camp. I kept on like screaming, shouting, shushing them away. They just kept on coming back. I was like, you know what? I need some rest. I'm like, I can't deal with this right now. So I just basically packed up. It took me about 15 minutes to skate down this main road. And I've got here to this little spot right here, right next to this industrial place. So I slept here overnight. It was all right. It was nice and quiet. <laughs> no foxes. <laughs> But yeah, today is another day uh, and I'm gonna skate to this camping spot. Apparently there are showers and you can charge your phone and batteries. Right, so here we are going. Day two. Feeling pretty good. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. There's no way I can skate on this. Damn, uh, no idea how wrong this road is gonna be like. I just jumped on this nice road, just rolling nicely for just two minutes and I'm walking again. Ah, hope this is not gonna be for too long. The thing is when you're trying to find camping spots in Europe, you do have to go off, off the main roads on these tiny little routes where the road isn't ideal, but it's just what I'm doing, right? I'm gonna have to stick with it. Nice little town in here, up in the mountains. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Dogs chasing me, goddammit. One day. <laughs> Dogs don't like the skateboard sound at all. <sighs> don't know, I have the zapper, but I don't know if it even works. Like. No clue. It's already half nine in the morning. Um, it's going super slow today. Yesterday at half nine in the morning, I was already eating sort of like my lunch. I already done the distance that I'm wanting to do today. And that's because I've been literally walking most of the time because of this path like this. And it's just been going like this all this time. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's gonna be like this all the way to my destination. Still got quite a lot to walk, but I decided to have a little break, catch some breath and eat my apple that I've got yesterday. Man, this is gonna be so good. Mm. I ran out of water, but I found some berries in here. I found some uh, wild berry. Mmm, and they're fully ripe. Mm, it's really nice and sweet. I hope it's not gonna make me even thirstier. They're pretty sweet. I did see some more refreshing fruit, like grapes. It's obviously, we're in Mediterranean, so grapes everywhere. Obviously, I can't touch them, it belongs to people, but some of these grapes look so big, look so juicy. <laughs> I wish someone would be like, hey man, would you like a couple grapes? All right, so just got on a better road downhill there's more traffic but i think it's a national road 101 i think it's called i didn't go through the villages because I, there's just no coffees i thought there was going to be one and it wasn't there so not risking it i really need some agua I need some water asap and the speed is pretty good i'm going pretty fast deserve drink right so just had some refreshment in the cafe had like a couple cokes coffee bunch of water refilled my water 
um, I'm about to go I'm about to test out this lip balm it's like SPF 50 plus I'm constantly doing this when I'm skinning every time when I get nervous I do this with my lips I don't know why and it just like it dries out my lips even worse you know so definitely need to apply some of this put on some sunscreen and head towards the camping spot so I'm hoping I'm hoping that it's gonna be a downhill all the way to the camping spot which I highly doubt it actually but let's enjoy it while I can you can already see a massive uphill all the way it goes all the way up that's not good but what can you do you know this is the part of the road trip I was talking to Tom actually and he's like yeah get ready man loads of uphills and part and walking is sort of like a part of this trip as well so yeah I have been doing a lot of walking look at this and it stops it's not easy I'm enjoying the ride going to this beautiful local town in here I just really hope it goes like this man because this is what I'm all about here skating on roads like this It's like a nice little waterfall, proper countryside vibes. You gotta love it. Just stop for a moment to enjoy this beautiful countryside of Portugal. Nice little river. Ain't got much left. Five more kilometers and I'm there. Man, so dusty with these trucks. A downhill for a little bit. Okay, feels like we are arriving. See a lot of motorhomes there, a bunch of caravans. So this is the place. Seems relatively busy, so I hope I can get like a quiet little corner, but it's quite nice because they're gonna have a shower, power, and hopefully some food. I'm absolutely starving now. All right, I'm hoping this is the reception. I'm guessing so. Yeah, it's the reception. Why are you gonna just phone call them? Please answer. I did call them earlier today. So they know I'm coming, but I said I'm gonna come. Hello, uh, it's Mario. I'm just by the reception. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, see you. All good, he's coming. Just checked in. 950 euros, 9 euro 50. So not too bad, but to, to be honest, they have the swimming pool, so I'm not sure I'm going to use it. It's, it's tiny, it's more, mainly like for kids, but I, I'm not really bothered. They have a shower. Um, I, I, I didn't want to get with power because like I feel like I would scam with all the people out there. So I, I don't have power, but I don't really need it because I've been charging on my solar panel thingy that I have right here attached to my bag. And to be honest, it's already Oh, it's on full bars. No, it's on three bars. Okay, so it's on three bars out of four. So it's about 70% charged. Pretty good, you know, pretty good. So I'm just gonna set up my tent right now and then maybe have a shower and then walk to the shop or maybe walk to the shop first because I really need some water and then have a shower, do some laundry and just chill for the rest of the day. It was a nice day, to be honest. The worst thing was the rubbing, like the blister that I have on my foot. So that's not good. I put a plaster today. I was hurting the whole time, you know, so that's why I'm doing a little bit shorter trip today to just kind of dry it out and hopefully it heals up slowly. I'm not entirely sure, you know, because I'm going to be doing this every day and tomorrow I'm doing like so much longer about three times longer than I did today so anyways let's not think about that and let's just enjoy and get some energy so I forgot to vlog because I was so tired but yeah I went to the supermarket I found some food um, set up my tent he had a bunch of sandwiches with cheese as always it's light um, and had a few beers as well and this is my little tent right here my little camp and I'm about to go to sleep and yeah tomorrow's another day Man, I'm feeling so tired. The first two days was kind of like shocking, you know, because I wasn't expecting this. Um, even though I did, I did less today, mile-wise, but it's, it felt as tiring as, as it did yesterday. 
But I mean, it's only starting because tomorrow I'm doing the same distance I did in the last two days. So it's gonna be one hell of a trip. I am, <laughs> I have no words, but I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna keep pushing and just focus on my destination and just, yeah, just go one day at a time. Because if you think about the whole entire trip, it kind of sounds endless. So, yeah, one day at a time. I can barely even talk. I need to go to sleep. <laughs>